Hello guys, welcome to the latest video from KTV and welcome to Station Feature Episode 2 here at St. Earth on the Cornish Main Line and the Annie Junction Point for the St. Ives Bay Line. <clears throat> so we're going to give you a little tour around this station. Uh, I did a tour around Penzance, it was very nice, so we're going to do a tour around St. Earth. So, the, uh, the interesting thing is for first that sort of strikes you about St. Earth is the fact that it's got SEM4 signalling. That's the best part. And that's probably the best part of St. Earth because you don't get a lot of stations that have that anymore due to like uh, there's a lot of upgrades going on around the country. Well, these signals are And very, semaphore very signaling is quite a uh, sort of a rare -ish occurrence in the area. Only in for areas a few now. more weeks. I know, I know some stations are only can have it. Semaphore signaling is staying until about 2025. 20, That's pretty good. Yeah. It's yeah. pretty good then. Right, so yeah, semaphore signaling. It's like what you see in Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> well, actually, I get the exact I'm joking, but it is true. Um, so yeah, that, that's quite interesting. It's on all three platforms. So if you walk down, this is, we're on platform two at the moment. So we'll walk down. This is on platform. Okay, we're coming. Okay, this is platform two of St. Earth. And this is usually, this is always used for trains going down toward, going up, sorry, towards Plymouth. So the next train due on platform two is 11.50 to Plymouth, which is 1.52.02, which you saw in the trains app video. Um, there's a lovely plant box there with St. Earth's name on it. That's very nice. Um, the station itself, um, this, this platform here sees trains going towards Plymouth. Trains to London Paddington, trains to Glasgow Central, trains to Manchester, trains and to trains to Exeter and Bristol. So trains it's a very um, it's a very interesting little platform. It's, it's pretty much very organised on here. So if you walk all the way down to platform walk all the way down through platform two, um, it's a quite a little welcoming little canopy. Um, yeah, that I have to agree with. Hang on. It's a very welcoming little canopy. Um, it's very small. It's lovely in this kind of weather as well. Very lovely and original. Um, yeah, a little original, yeah, definitely original. Um, the station signs as well, they're still first Great Western branded. Even though they haven't had the Great Western Railway upgrade like Penzance has. So, if we take a further walk down, there is the footbridge here. This is the St. Air footbridge. So we'll take a walk up that in a minute. Uh, the way out is over here. Uh, that's one way out anyway, there is another way out. That's just gates that you can walk out of. The little town over there, uh, village. Um, obviously we know that our Cornwall train town is going to meet someone who is going, who lives in St. Air. So uh, he's going to ask the person uh, what the area is like and he's going to get back to me on that because he's doing this, in, he's doing the station interview for St. Air. So anyway. Walk up here, there's some more before signals. Uh, it's a very, um, very scenic sort of area in this bit. Very, a uh, lot of vegetation around. There's some fencing over here. It's, there's a lot of work going on. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Uh, but yeah, there's a signal box all the way down there, which I didn't point out, but that's a decent earth signal box as well. So yeah, it's a lovely little station um, platform as well. So there's some stopping points all the way out there, bicycle points, everything you need to know really. HST's uh, platform wise here, and I think on platform one's the same, seven of the eight coaches can platform here at St. Air. Correct. Coach L, which if it's a normal formation, um, I think, yeah. It's it, Coach L every time. If it's in the if, rear, yeah. it will be. Yeah, but if it's in reverse formation, it'll be Coach A that doesn't platform. And no, 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 no. Coach A is always platformed. No, no yeah, Coach it, A has to be platformed. Yeah, what if it's in reverse formation? Um, they stop at the end. And they'll well, stop the at the end with Coach A on the platform. Okay, so what if it's a normal So if it's normal formation? It's rear seven. And if it's if it's reverse formation, it's front seven. Okay, so oh I see. So they overshot L anyway. Coach L is always the one that's never platform, regardless of formation. Okay, so we're going to take a walk up the footbridge, and we'll show you from there. Okay, so you just walk over here. Uh, there is a little help point. I forgot to point that out. Uh, there are help points pretty much across all the Great Western Railway stations and all of the lot of stations across the UK. There are help points. Oh, you basically press it, and they put you through to National Rail Inquiries. Who usually uh. He usually don't help you. He usually um, say the wrong to, thing. Last I've had time it. I used to help when I asked for the next train to Pilney. I didn't, I didn't have one. <laughs> so we walk up here. Um, this is the um, footbridge at St. Earth. This is the view across it. It's very nice. And that's view one side. And that is the stunning view the other side. That's lovely. There is a junction point there. So if uh, I guess if trains Maybe if they need to be platform all the way for emergency purposes, then they can yep. junction off. Oh no, hang on, actually ignore me, I know what that's for. That is for um, the St. Ives, yeah that is, that's for the St. Ives Penzance that is. 
Now, when the train from St Ives to Penzance goes along, it comes in on well, two. Well, it's been used in emergency purposes, like you said. Yeah, but usually it's used for when St Ives Penzance comes in, because that uses two, yeah. and then junctions off yeah, yeah, yeah. along to that track over there. That's true, isn't it, Kieran? What? The track up here, there's a junction, there's a little junction point, there's a track it's switch. For That's for St Ives Penzance, isn't it? Yes. Because that goes in on two, I thought so. Um, anyway, let's go down here. So we go down here. You can see there's a lot of work going on around here. I'm not too sure what they're working on, but there's a lot of work going on around the surrounding area. You can tell. That's like they're building a park and ride facility. Park and ride, eh? Do yeah. you know if needs one, like the Soul Things has one. Yeah. Anyway, uh, down here then, we have platform one of St. Eric. Now this, hello, we're like 306 delayed. That'll be interesting in trains out later. Um, I love saying that. Oh, yeah. um, so we get on here, this is platform one. This is, this is always used for all Penzance bound trains. Um, anything from Paddington, anything from Plymouth, anything from cross countries from Glasgow and Aberdeen. Aberdeen, Aberdeen, Aberdeen. let's not go there. Um, we get on here, there is a little, uh, little building down here, which we're gonna take a look at. Now this building, uh, 1306 by the way, if you wanna know, it's just delayed. That's a London Paddington Penzance service. Uh, so it's HST that's been delayed. We're gonna find that, we'll find out more information on that later. Another help point for you guys as well, looking very nice. Uh, just standing out from the crowd, that sounds weird. Um, and the interesting about the station signage is it actually tells you that you can change here for St Ives. It's pretty obvious, but if you don't know, we're going to get to that bit in a minute. Car has the same on the every station. Okay, so if we go over here, um, you pop in, you look over there. This is, an un this is now a locked building, I'm not too sure what it is anymore. But it just says, at the beach, beware of children playing. Little sign. I think it's an unused building now. Yeah, it's, it's an unused building now. Interesting. What was it ever used no for? Wonder? I have no clue. I can Interesting. read like, Wikipedia. Interesting. Okay. Might be an old way um, there, so we walk down here. It's very um, holiday themed around here. The trees are very, um, very nice. Uh, it's a very nice looking area. I like it. And yeah. So this is platform one. It's pretty basic. Uh, I prefer platform two. More facilities on that platform. Um, but more benches and things, and platform two looks a bit more upgraded than platform one does, because that building ruins it. Um, but yeah, it's a nice enough platform. So, onwards we go. So, and the moment we're on the out, outside of St. Earth Station, take a look at the little entrance out here. It's looking very nice. Uh, it's quite a welcoming little area. We walk up here as well. Um, this is the car park. It's quite, re it's reasonably big, so that's a good thing. Um, few entrances over here, St uh, Staff Park, it says there's FGW on it. Uh, so we go around here into the station entrance, we'll take a look inside. It's recently been re uh, newly reopened, because it, so it used to do you be wanna, there. Do it you was... want to get the door, by the way? Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was an automatic door anyway. Oh, okay, so if you walk in here, this is the St Earth Concourse. It's very small, it's very basic. It it's was obviously very upgraded to the GWR. It was much smaller. Very it's been different. upgraded since. Yeah, it's very There is very one small. ticket office right there. There is a, two toilets, a fireplace that's probably never used. That looks um, decoration. Uh, I don't know if it has any departure boards inside. I think the uh, departure boards are outside. This is on the other side of this ticket office, uh, which it's not. So, There's yeah. Only and obviously, the unique thing about St. Arif is they've got a little piece of paper up here that says, please use other door if it's locked. At the moment, I don't think it's locked, but anyway, and there's loads of like pamphlets over there with loads of route knowledge and things like that. Anyway, let's go out here. And as we go out, this is platform, sorry, there's a little bit over here. Actually, we'll, we'll take a look at that in a minute. But over here is platform three of St. Ives. Um, St. Ives. This is for St. Ives. This platform is always used for all the St. Ives branch line services. It's on a frequency of every half an hour. Except the ones going to Penn Park. Yeah, except for obviously the one to Penzance, which uses two. Um, but but you typically it's three that sees the platform. This is a little bay platform here. I don't think it's used for much. Might be used for maybe stabling something, but rare, probably rare. very rarely. Um, so you walk down here. It's not as big as two and one, but it is, you know, reasonably sized. Um, as I say, there's an Ive strings running on the frequency of every half an hour, and this is platform is dedicated to St. Ive services. It's lovely and unique because it's a bay platform in a Cornwall station. I like it. Um, it's very, uh, very unique. The canopy is good. And the canopy is lovely because it obviously stretches all the way around in a little, uh, little shape. So in an L shape almost as well. Um, over there is another building. I, 
think that might be a staff room. Yeah, it's the staff. Room. That's for obviously the St. Ives staff, I'd imagine. Yeah, um, like when they're changing frames. Yeah, things. maybe when the crew changes and things. It's a nice. It looks quite new. Yeah, and very it's, nice. It's new, so that leaves one more place to have a look at, and that's the St. Ives. I'm going to say it right. St. Ives tea room. So we can take a look at that one that's in a minute. Tea room. Okay, so on the tour as well, we've got this departure board up here. That is the St. Earth one. At the moment there's only one late train, it's 1306 to Penzance from London Paddington. That's due at 1313 instead of 1306. That's seven minutes late. So yeah, uh, that one over there is quite hidden. I thought uh, the one over on the, Bay, the St. Ives platform was the only one there, but there is this one as well. It's not seen very well. Obviously it's because it's LED, it doesn't come out given the camera, but there it is anyway. Okay, before we enter the tea room, there's the uh, St. Earth departure board. It's not very bright. But it is there. It's pretty, uh, pretty basic, really. You've got Penzance, Plymouth, St. Ives, and, and one London Paddington up there. It's on the old and it lasts at the moment from 11:42 all the way down to 15:18. So that shows the frequency here. Um, so we pop into here. Uh, obviously, so that changes the train times from January 2018. It's a bit outdated. This is the Branch Line Key Room. We walk in, and this place just does lots of refreshments. Very small, only a couple of tables. Got an eating menu, uh, just some souvenirs, probably some Ive stuff. Arms are silly, Sicily, the new key. Proper 100 years progress, lovely. Um, but it's just sells food in here, it's quite, it's quite nice. Uh, it's a very sort of, well, apparently as well, it was ranked uh, one of the best tea rooms by Jeff and Vicky, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Jeff and Vicky said it was a very nice tea room. Yeah, well, it's it's ranked like officially as one of the best. It's ranked officially as well, but as one of the best tea rooms on, on yeah, what? I think that's, they what was the, what was the commendation and what, that they got? What Jeff and Vicky did they mention it? Was what was the commendation? I don't one know. One of the best tea rooms in the country was it? Oh, well, lovely! And it's at a railway station too. Okay, so um, as that one comes to that, this is that's the tour video from St. Era. Hello guys, so uh, welcome to the latest video from KTV and today I am doing uh, Welcome to Station Interviews Episode 2. Today I am at St Earth with former train spy, well, Max. Hello there. And I'm interviewing him about St Earth. So, uh, sorry about the sun, um, if I don't face the camera all the time my eyes squeak. Anyway, so, um, to get straight into it, I asked Max the first question. So, St Earth as a whole, what's the area like to live in? You know, it's a nice, it's a nice village, a nice place to be on holiday. You know, when you live here, you don't really want to leave it because it's such a lovely little small place. It's okay then. Good area. Yeah. Clear air. Clear air. Yes. That's good. Okay. Um, so, it's one about, well, focus the rest of the questions on the station. So, right, okay. what services would you typically see at some point? Um, HST is going through to Paddington. Um, in the morning you get the odd passing one. Um, Get cross country here, going to Glasgow, Manchester. And we'll just go down that and then get yeah. go around. We'll you get your stopping sprinters to Plymouth and Exeter. Yeah, and you also got some Ives as well. Yeah. Three. You got some Ives as well. Yeah, some Ives branch. Which do interesting stopping patterns because you sometimes get some non-stop services, which is quite interesting. So. How often do they run as well? Um, every half hourly. Um, okay. Um, so. If you were to, question three, if you were to look at the layout of St. Earth Station, how would you change it? Change it? If you could. Um, try and take those fences away. Um, get platform four, which is yeah. next to the high platform down there. That's put that back in use, yeah. Back in use. What would you use that platform for then? Um, I mean, I could like, stay the things there, or if you need an extra unit on standby, you can have it there. Oh, that's a good idea. I like yeah. that. Okay, so. How would you improve the services? Services, um, get the first service of the day to actually stop here, which is on a weekday, which goes to Paddington, actually gets to stop here. Just it passes, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it goes non stop as far as Red Roof. Wow, that's quite a fast, it's quite a run. Yeah. Okay, so you, you change that then? Yeah, yeah, I've got to change that. Are you happy with the St. Ives connection at St. Ives as well? Yeah, it's, it's reasonably good, but I mean, if I'd look at the timetable, I'd probably make a few tweaks. That's all right then. Um, yeah, so we've got a quick turnaround here, haven't they? Yeah, oh yeah, very quick. And they will, if the train's late, they won't hold it because they've got to keep that half hour service going. Yeah, they've going. got that sign yeah. up because they've got to keep it on time. Yeah. Obviously, and it was a knock-on effect the rest of the day. Oh, absolutely. 
Same with uh, a few others. Anyway, um, what's your overall opinion of St. Paul Station? I quite like it. I like the bridge could do with a bit of a paint. It it. I like that there's the old signals and you can see the signal box down there. They were trying to alter the bridge. Yeah. Really? But they were trying to keep it, the station in keeping with how it used to be in the old days. You know what I mean? Okay, yeah. yeah. When all forces used to stop there. Yeah. All right. Good so, final question before we wrap this up. Uh, if you could introduce a new link to a station from St. Mary's, where would it be going to? Well, I think Portsmouth Harbour because they used to run there when West Exchange ran, and I think that's quite a good service because you go to like Southampton, ETC, and you get good links to others, other stations like Southern and South Western Rail. So, I think that's quite a good okay. one to go to. Um, and one other thing, uh, the summer services here. Yeah. It's one service that begins here, isn't it? Yes. Goes to Ex well, last year it went to Plymouth. This year it's going to Ex Davies. What's it usually operating? Uh, class 57. Uh, with three coaches. Lovely. Day coach of Mike and Vieira. Dan's liking that. <laughs> All right, well, thank you, Max. Uh, thank you. It's been great talking to you. And yeah, that's the interview. So thank you guys for watching. Cool.